Um, you know, Pacific Games have always been the biggest tournament that Guam's participated in. So winning the gold was a huge accomplishment for the team and the island. And, you know, wanting to go back out there knowing what was needed to be done. And uh, just go back out there with the same energy and knowing that we'll play stiffer competition. You know, just practicing harder and training just as hard as we did before. I mean, with uh, the help of, you know, the GBC board, late Tony Thompson, and the help with, uh, you know, our head coach, EJ Calvo, we were able to recruit uh, guys that were, you know, either lived here on island, born here on island, and that's really helped us get to the next level with, um, you know, needing bigs. We've always been a guard dominant team, usually just bringing guard team to these games, but now we're able to, uh, you know, come together with our local skills with everybody else that's from off island and that's really taking us to the next level. Um, we're really confident, uh, you know, going back to defend the gold, uh, a nice group of, you know, talented players coming in. I think we have about six guys that are still in college around that same age coming in. So we got a lot of youth coming in with experience, uh, you know, just mesh well together and it's a good with the Pacific Games and the Asian Games, Asian Games kind of next tier for us. So Pacific Games not as high on the radar as they used to be. So it's kind of more of a training ground for the Asian Games. Yeah, I mean, with the Pacific Games being a qualifier for the next Asian Games, everybody's trying to, you know, recruit, bring guys in, and that's going to be exciting going over there. And every year you see the tournament, the Pacific Games, kind of take a step up and. This year, I don't see anything different. You know, it's gonna, the competition's gonna get a little bit stiffer and hopefully that we can come in and just match the same energy.